Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to do that flashback hyper zoom effect in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and here as you can see, I've already selected my clip. So you're going to need a couple of things to do that effect. First, you're going to need a beginning clip, you're going to need ending clip and you're going to need a bunch of footage to do the hyper zoom. So for this specific case, I've used the same clip for my beginning and end clip. Just the difference is that the beginning clip, uh, the girl has her eyes closed and the end clip, she's opening her eyes. For the hyper zoom sequence, you're gonna need to have at least uh, 10 different shots because it's gonna be very quick and very short. So each shot's gonna be one frame. So ideally you need at least 10 frame. You can make the length of the frame longer. So instead of one frame, you can also do three frame if you want to drive a bit more the focus on the action and what's going on. For this one, we just want to do a quick flashback, but here's the effect with one frame. And here is the effect with three frame. As you can see with three frame, we have a bit more time to see what's going on. And one frame is just more frenetic and we focus more on the effect than the actual shot. All right, enough talk, let's jump right into it. So here I've already uh, done my cut. So basically I have my first clip, I have my sequence of clip for the hyper zoom and I have my hand clip. Already as it is, it looks pretty nice. Now we're just gonna emphasize that with the hyper zoom effect. So I'm gonna go over to effect I'm gonna go down to effect and here I'm gonna bring an adjustment clip here in my timeline. I'm gonna reduce the adjustment clip to cover up uh, my entire sequence. And then I'm gonna make a cut at the beginning of the upper zoom sequence and at the end of the upper zoom sequence. Now we're gonna keyframe stuff on each of those adjustment clips. Let's start with the first one. So we're gonna go over to fusion. In Fusion, we're going to select the media one. And here I'm going to hit shift space to open the select tool window. We're going to search for transform. And here I'm not going to select the transform XF. I'm going to select the simple transform. So double click on it to bring it in the timeline. And I'm going to search for zoom. And we're going to bring the zoom blur as well in our working area. Let's select the transform. We're going to go to frame zero. And here we're going to drop a keyframe on zoom at one. And then I'm going to go to frame 28. And here we're going to increase the zoom at 2.5. Then we're going to select zoom blur, still at frame 28. And we're going to bring the zoom amount to 0 0.8. Drop a keyframe on this and then go to frame zero. And here we're going to bring the zoom amount down to zero. If we play it, it already give us an animation, but here I would like to adjust the curve so it looks a bit better. So we're gonna open the spline editor. I'm gonna select the transform. I'm gonna select the zoom blur. Then I'm gonna click right here to bring all the point in the same space. And then I'm gonna select all the point at once. Then in our keyboard, I'm gonna hit the letter S to smooth those curve and then hit the letter T to bring the easing and ease out. We're gonna bring the easing at zero and then we're gonna bring the ease out at 100. Now I'm going to click in a random space to just unselect everything and I'm going to select the last key point of my zoom and here for this one I'm going to just increase the easing at 50. All right, let's go back to the edit page. Let's play it. As you can see, we get the zoom. It looks pretty good. Now we're going to repeat similar operation for the two other adjustment clip. So second one, we're just going to select here the second adjustment clip, go to Fusion, select my media in, then it shift space on my keyboard. I'm going to bring a transform same way as we've done right before. And then we're going to select a zoom blur. Let's go to the first frame and here for the zoom, we're going to just drop a keyframe at one. And then we're going to go to the last frame and put the zoom at 1.3. Now let's select the zoom blur. We're going to go to the first frame and we're going to drop a keyframe here on the zoom amount. And then we're going to go to the last frame and we're going to increase the zoom amount to 0.6. I'm gonna leave the curve as linear. It's gonna be fine for this one. So let's just go back to the edit page. Let's play it. As you can see, if we play it frame by frame, it just really bring another dimension to the effect and it tied everything together. Now let's do the last adjustment clip. So we're gonna select it, go to Fusion, select Media In, Shift Space again, search for Transform, bring the Transform in, search for Zoom, bring the zoom in and here we're going to go to frame zero, select the transform, drop a keyframe on the transform at size at one. Then we're going to go about half a second forward. So 12 frame in that case. And then I'm going to drop another keyframe on size at 1.3. 
then the zoom blur. We're gonna go at the beginning of all composition, drop a keyframe on the zoom amount, then go 12 frame forward, bring the zoom amount down to zero. Then let's go to the spline editor, click right here to see all the points, select all the point again, hit S on our keyboard, then hit T, and here we're gonna bring the ease in at 100, and we're gonna bring the ease out down to zero. Now we can go back to the edit page. Now let's play it. Perfect, we got our effect. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.